I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at how to take an ECG reading on your Fitbit Charge 5. So this is one of the really cool features of the Charge 5 watch. It actually has a FDA cleared ECG feature built in that you can use to take an electrocardiogram. And that can help to diagnose certain heart arrhythmias, um, for example, an AFib. And, um, you know, firstly, it's important to note if you have any kind of symptoms that make you concerned about your heart, don't use a watch. Uh, go to your doctor, get evaluated. Um, but apparently AFib can be hard to detect and it can show up without obvious symptoms. So it's nice to have an ECG, again, that's FDA cleared. Uh, the Fitbit's really worked hard to get that clearance uh, to actually be able to do that right on your wrist. So it takes about 30 seconds. We're going to go to the ECG uh, app here on the Fitbit Charge 5 um, that's installed by default and then we're going to tap to start our reading. Now it's going to say to put our finger um, and thumb on the side of the watch to hold them there for 30 seconds and don't move and don't speak. So let's go ahead and do that. And it can be a little bit finicky. You can see Okay, since it's data collected, uh, you could see it was a little finicky getting it working, so move your fingers around, um, you know, make sure you don't move or talk at all as I did there. If you do talk or move, it'll probably start the count over. And then you can get one of three different results. This is the good one, normal sinus rhythm. So that means that the uh, test was successful um, and it was able to determine that my heart rhythm is fine. Um, there's also, you could get an inconclusive result. Usually that means that you moved or talked while you were taking it. Um, so try to do it again if you get that, or it can indicate a, um, evidence of a potential arrhythmia. And in that case, obviously, you should contact your doctor right away. Uh, a couple things that Fitbit says here, though. Uh, your heart rhythm appears normal, but if you're not feeling well, you should talk to your doctor. Don't change medications based on the result. Um, and that also arrhythmias do not mean like a heart attack, a stroke, blood clots. There's plenty of things it can't detect. So again, if you think you have any kind of a problem, contact emergency services right away. Um, and uh, contact your doctor as well. Now, one final thing that's nice with this is that you can actually get a report on your results in the Fitbit app, and uh, it's a PDF you can share with your doctor that actually has a trace of that ECG. And uh, they can look at that and use their own expertise to evaluate it. Um, so it's nice to have that, because you get the, uh, the analysis on the watch, but then you can actually send that right along to your doctor and uh, they can see. And it's a, the equivalent of a, um, a, a one lead ECG. So it's not as good as what you would do in your doctor's office, but uh, still quite good and, um, and a good way to potentially diagnose those uh, arrhythmias and issues. Um, so again, don't rely on it for medical advice, obviously, but it is FDA cleared. And if it notices a problem, uh, like a potential arrhythmia, then you definitely want to get that checked out. Uh, so that's taking an ECG on the Fitbit Charge 5.